In the decades since the 9-11 terrorist attacks on America, airline and airport security have been major preoccupations on both sides of the Atlantic. But until now, it's been impossible for the European Union and the United States to come to an agreement on sharing passenger information, a system known as Passenger Name Records, or PNR. This week here in the Parliament, the Justice, Civil Liberties and Home Affairs Committee has been debating the European Commission's latest attempt to broker a deal. This is the third attempt to craft a transatlantic PNR accord. An agreement signed in 2004 was ruled unlawful by the European Court of Justice and a second attempt was curtailed by MEPs a couple of years ago using Parliament's new powers under the Lisbon Treaty. The key sticking point has always been whether sufficient safeguards exist for EU citizens' personal data transferred to US law enforcement and counter-terrorism officials. Cecilia Malmström, European Commissioner for Home Affairs, appeared before MEPs to explain why she thinks this latest attempt should win their backing. We have been negotiating now for two years to improve the current agreement. I am convinced that on all points this is an improvement. We need more legal certainty, we need better protection for the citizens' right, and while a secure uh, agreement for, for security reasons, and this is what we have asked the Parliament to, to vote in favour, and I hope that they will. For the EPP group, it's always been imperative to strike the right balance between ensuring the security of EU citizens and ensuring the security of their personal data. Axel Voss, a German MEP who serves as EPP group shadow rapporteur on this issue, is confident that the Commission's latest attempt to bridge the transatlantic data divide represents a good deal for Europe and one that takes into account both sides' concerns. It is a kind of give and take for both sides and uh, so we haven't met probably the whole security issues of the US side and they have, haven't have met uh, the whole um, instruments of our ideas of data protection like the scope, like the legal redress, like the push option for the only way uh, to transfer data and uh, the retention period and so therefore I think we have an agreement and uh, we have a right balance for security and data protection. Some of the other political groups in the Parliament have expressed their opposition to the Commission's proposal, saying it fails to offer adequate safeguards for private information. However, Mr Voss is concerned about the consequences for the EU of rejecting this accord. If we are looking to the consequences, this will be legal uncertainty for the airlines, this will be lower data and protection standards, uh, standards for the citizens, for our citizens, and um, especially no framework for all of us. And so, therefore, the EPP should, and I will, vote in favour for this agreement because, with other words, if we are not agreeing, we will lower the data protection standards for our citizens and this is irresponsible and for me as a member of parliament unthinkable. It's clearly a controversial and divisive topic and that fact won't change even if a deal is reached. But for the EPP group, finding a middle way that meets concerns about security and data protection is our priority. For more information on our group's activities, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.